Hi all, and welcome to the video. In this one, it's Let's Build a Tune Series 11, number 2. Well, as you can probably tell by looking at the character, We've upgraded some of his armor. This is an offer you can get from Steam. So he now has the luxurious armor set. Yes, he does. You can buy this uh, for the same price as a sub or wait until Steam has a sale and get it for even less. It is then available for every character on your account. Uh, current and future ones. So it's a complete eight-piece set with each piece giving... ACs, first aid and treatment, uh, some inits, some NCU, and also 5% XP, which means currently we're at nearly 200% XP with a nano can. Oh, and you get nano cans and things with it as well. Like uh, all these. Well, you get premium experience, then you get lit compute lit mastery, which is 35. Uh, attribute, which gives you 20 on top for attributes, stacks with everything else, which is quite nice, and treatment mastery, quite handy. I think I'll keep them for a bit longer. These are all things I can claim from the window as well. Uh, so we've done that. We've upgraded some tokens because I have veteran points, so I can spend them. We got the three slot belts in a read, and then I picked up the three NCU from ICC. Uh, implants, we've got a bit of a mix here, some 20s, some 30s, etc. Just enough to get by for now. Uh, and yeah, some illegally modif modified OFAB peregrines, which I had still hanging around on the dock. So we've got all that, the usual set of buffs, which we can now self-cast. A pistol mastery in <laughs> Dr. Hack and Quack. Oh, I love Hack and Quack. And it's gloomy. It's night time on Rubicar, and we have a mission that is miles away. All the way down there. If I zoom out a couple of times, you'll see there's our mission. We are here. Now we're over this first little border. There are some aggressive mobs around here. There's none of this, um, don't worry about it, nothing will aggro. However, we are going to try and do a straight line run, straight there. As soon as I am able, I will probably try to upload the next big nano, which is this one. Sparrow Flight, oh yay. Which doesn't give a lot of run speed at this level. 1200 at level 200, but only 78 at this level. But it does give flight, which is kind of nice. There's a diner I want to stay away from, given it's level 70, and we are only <laughs> level 13. I know the mission markers just by this tree. Ah, there we go. See how we do. I'm thinking maybe keep the other pistol just for brawl at the, uh, brawl, for burst at the moment, I'm not sure. I think I prefer the other lobby mission which is just outside the gate. Here yeah, we got one. the burst, even though I only had it for about 20 minutes. I don't remember if these drop much of anything. Random bits and bobs. Two more! Yeah, I've got all the old pistols my... Uh, Doctor used from the last playthrough and a few implants custom made <laughs> that luckily also would be a fairly good match for a few levels
I think I've only ever had this mission twice before now. And I've never been a fan of it. But the first time I got it, I was completely confused. I was stood on top of the marker going, well, where are they? Um, and someone said, oh, you need to run around a bit. I was like, oh, right, okay. I was here for quite a while, hating on it. Had one of the ermites chase off all the way to that hill. I was on a little MA. I was getting nowhere. Aha. Also have the freelancers ink running I'm hoping to get that completed today it's triggered on the other mission which was um, Fayalu and Garrick at the uh, for the temple quest Oh, it's running away. No, don't run away. I am very, very slow at this point. I should have, I should have given myself grid space instead. And a ding. Right. Suggested is putting into multi, which I don't need that much of yet. It's maxing those, which is good. Doing those two, okay. That's capped, I think. Abilities, it's leaving a few of them behind. As some of the these as well. Okay, I can go, I can roll with that. Right, okay, so let's beacon away. Cause that's faster. Still saved in ICC by default after leaving a read. And that has completed freelancers. Let's go and hand that in then. Okay, Ralph. And another ding. Okay, nice. Right. Salvage mission, we're awful slow for that, but... We're gonna try. 16 is a title level, is it not? It is. I keep opening this and seeing when I can use some of these new nanos. Yes, along the ridge is the way. At this speed, I don't think we can blitz this mission. Let's uh, delete that. So yes, I am wearing the helmet, however... Oh God, I can't even jump up there yet. Um, I quite like the look of the uh, the shades you get from a re so we're wearing those. I think we will have to kill the aliens in here because I am far too slow to attempt blitzing in here. Hammer. We do get a lot of drops in the uh, Lobby missions. Alien level, I don't think... Oh, it's counterweight. Uh, the call. My god, our first thing. Beckoning. Only works when you're polymorphed, which I'm not. Uh, can we do anything down here? Nano combat would be nice, but no. Eh, the call, it is. Not that I can do much with it at the moment. <laughs> I, haven't, I think I've got leet and that's it. Yeah, we picked up the thing. Run away! Yes, it's a little blob. 
<laughs> running around on the floor. It looks like some kind of alien lavatory. Now, of course, we can stay in here and kill more aliens until we hit the next alien level. And at which point, I think, we'd actually cap for our level. So I'm going to do that and confuse the aliens, seeing as uh, we're a blob on the floor. Aliens wondering why the toilet is attacking them. If you want to farm these missions, the thing to do is not pick up the item first. Then you can keep re-entering the mission. And it respawns all the aliens inside it. Which is why I don't really worry about doing the alien mission in a reet so much, because it's so easy to farm them on Rubicar early on. We will, of course, clear this out. Probably hit a cap. And not hand the mission in and wait for the cap to go. I don't think there's that many more aliens left here now. Ah, there you go. You have gained enough alien XP for another level. But you must be level 25 in order to get it. So, no point staying in here now. Because other than general XP we get... Of which there ain't much. There's nowhere really for it to go. Research. We're still on exploration one. <laughs> we'll get there. Where's the damn door? Oh. That's all fire. Yes, we're incredibly slow, it seems. Does this actually... Yeah, 40 run speed ain't much, but it's something. Right, which brings us to time for the subway. ICC, where frame rates go to die. Hey, thief. I think I'm going to come out of um, the morph just for now. Now, normally, one of the first things I try and grab here is a Vagabond cloak. However, I'm not sure I would wear it now, because, obviously, we have the backpack here, which is rather nice. My god, the grey! the hell? <laughs> We've arrived too high a level. Muggers! Oh yes, looters, further in. Yes, I'm ignoring the grey mob. They're quite aggressive, those, actually. Will we get a deranged shopper? We usually do. I always seem to attract them, you know. Oh, a green mob, at last. <laughs> Ding. Let's go with suggested and reduce the... Multi that. Stimfiends. Should be some in here, but it's usually messy. And I have some terrible memories of this room in the high dungeon. And we are on such a huge XP boost. I think it's at like a hundred and 98% I think I'm on at the moment with the armor anacans. If I put on a couple of the rings, we will be over 200%, uh, which is nuts. Workman Strikers, okay. After the Workman Strikers, things tend to get a bit more interesting, I find. Ah, uh, now we're getting there. Workman Striker number one. And striker number two. Neural burnouts, they're quite a ways down. Yeah, probably best to deal with these. Another ding. Going with suggested again, apart from 
that one. Getting close to Sparrow Flight now. It's almost as if the Infectors were ignoring me. It's like, oh god, not him again. Infectors! And the Neural Burnout coming to get me. They can sting quite a bit, the old Neural Burnouts. With the nukes. Which you've probably got literally no chance of uh, evading at this level. Unless you <laughs> really are well decked out. And there's one. But hack and quack in here. Kind of OP. But hey. You know, they drop the illegally modified items. It's quite nice. Okay, we have a few here to deal with. Then going for that. Yeah, we're definitely using uh, the call this early is. Pretty good. Another ding. Suggested. Don't need that much. Premature patterns. You'll do. Gonna have to get past these, unfortunately. It's all XP, that's the way I look at it. And killing fragmented souls. I think they're on the... No, they're not even on the thing. They're not on the hit list. Another perk. Bio shielding. Why not? Or do we want to go pistol mastery? We get quick shot at pistol mastery too, but need a level. Hmm. Why not? More AR. Some would probably argue, no, bio shielding is what you want. They're probably right. Okay, who am I killing now? Incomplete rebuild. Can I get past you? I did. Yes. Oh, damn. Rooted. And I don't have any stims. That's annoying. Rooted, blinded, and no stims to do anything about it. One more incomplete rebuild. Empty shells after this. Molested molecules. The dings are coming thick and fast. Automatic IP is finished. Ah, right, okay. Well, I'm going to do max all base abilities for some better implants later. Body dev, yes. And we're casting, and they're going to need bigger for healing. And knits. Trade and repair, going to need for better NCU. Treatment were probably all right, but hey. And then, of course, ranged and ranged in it. Stop with the snares and stuff. Okay, so the last one's on there, and now melded patterns. Kill my way down to them. Melded pattern. I choose you. Oh, empty shells coming to play. My god, we're just dinging so damn fast. Now, let's have a quick look in the bag of wind. So, Sparrow Flight is Matamet Biomet. Sense Imp. We have enough for it. Lesser Wilderness Protection. Matter Creation 104, okay. It's a little more ACs. Don't laugh at it. Right, melded patterns. And a friend. Melded. Perk. So those are the agency missions done. 
we still have a date with Eumenides. Like, I'm not the only one here. Can I get anywhere near him? Has he been moved? I oh, don't know. Just looked like him, but it's not. What I will probably have to do is deal with these dudes. Oh my god. Bio shield. This is what I mean about Hack and Quack being kind of OP in here. But not enough to save you towards the end of the temple. More. <laughs> oh, good god. That'll do for now. Oh, and exploring, yes. Oh, and comp lit, obviously. It's all about getting as many buffs in as you can at this sort of low B game, I always find. Not just for twinking, but also <clears throat> with all the new four hour buffs. Well worth it. Well, that's rather a lot of XP for killing all the ads. I think I can take him. He's now green. He's nothing like as terrible as his bigger counterpart in the raid instance. That guy is a nightmare. I mean, he does hit quite hard. Not gonna lie. And another level, 24. I'll save the rest of this IP here. Right, okay. Now you guys probably want me to go down and have a go at the big guy. I'm thinking, nah. <laughs> That's not my plan, but I do think 25 would be good. Because then I can get the temple daily straight away if I hand in. This is my cunning plan, you see. There we go, 25, new token board. What is it? Oh no, 50. Okay. However, it's a new perk, which gives me more shielding. Or, gotta be level 30 for that one, bio shielding. Oh no, it's a other perk. The call 2? Hmm. Or, anything good here? Combat knowledge. Nano combat has opened up, as has light imp artillery. Or the nano. Hmm. Light artillery, I'm thinking. I'll have one in there. Why not? Oh, and we have IP to spend. It's going fat past so damn quickly. It's almost like, oh, I'll skip a couple of levels and then spend. It's kind of ridiculous with this armor, etc. But you can see why it's kind of worth it. I think we've probably got enough in treatment. Uh, let's save the rest. Okay. And poof. But right now, we're here. But... Um, There we go, flying around at level 25 under our own power. Not a single IP spent in vehicle air. Right, okay, so we've done those. I think, hand in the alien daily. Now we can actually enjoy the XP reward from it. Oh, we're slow without that buff. Yes, you do feel it, and this stuff doesn't need clicking. It auto-levels. Also, very nice. I mean, we're not massively faster like this at this level, but hey, we're flying. So it's 150 run speed. Which ain't bad. Oh, it auto-completed that one. Let's... Do we talk to you as well? I don't think we do. Nope. Auto-complete on that one. And you. Mission complete. Take the doohickey. There we go. We need to be level 35 to enjoy the next one. <laughs> 
Right, next, I want the Shadowlands map, and then I want to go and get it myself, a Doja. No buff from Stella today. I don't think. Let's just check I have this. Yep. Funny. So, some indoor places allow you to remain in parrot form. Or sparrow form. Um, even though you can't fly. To come off list, sometimes it's easier to see. Ah, there we are. Veteran growing flesh. Don't need. And... Voila. So I think the sensible thing to do is go to Nascence and get the key. My eyes, my eyes, it's so bright. It is a little bit nuts, I've got to say. I mean, if you turn off um, ambient light, it's not too bad. I'll show you. Now, it, now it's a little less m mad. <laughs> Changes when you zone. It's not an exploit or anything. Right, okay. Somebody is going to try and give me a bracer. I do not want one. Aha! I avoided you. Right, so we're going to need at least two of the insignias in order to do this painlessly. Which should give us a fair bit of XP. That means we have to give up on Sparrow Flight. can't remember what level you have to be for Wolf, but I'm probably not too far off. Wrong one. Because of course it is. Okay, that is one. I think we need two to make this work. Okay, two should do it. Because we can save here and then use the, um, the beacon. Right, let's save in Nascence. Very nice. Now, I want to go all the way out and talk to a certain NPC. The old frontier. Oh, frontier outskirts would have been better. Oh, well. We'll manage. Who Howell is around. Yes, he wanders up and down. He's rather deadly. I was trying to help some guy who was kind of returning to game and he came back <laughs> I was stood there trying to trade him a new weapon I think the guy was only like level 30, 40 and Huel just whooped his ass and he says oh my god you trained me I was like no 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 listen <laughs> this this thing just wanders around the whole playfield, and if he finds you he kills you he's a level 110 nasty thing be time for the XP rings very soon as well. Yes, that's the one I should have taken. Frontier outskirts. Right, we talk to Donna Reed. Tell her your name. Don't tell her your name, Pike. <laughs> we have to go through a few stages of dialogue with her. The line we're looking for is, what are you doing here, and can I help you, basically? So, how can the environment here in Nascence affect Rubicar? Maybe I can help you, is the line you're looking for. And she sends you off to silence, which is miles away from here, which is why we've saved in the garden. So, beacon to the garden. The core and silence. Because we can't jump very high, I can't climb on. Ugh. Can't climb up things as much as I like. Okay, here is one of the dudes we need. Here he is. How did you know our paths would cross? Well, because, you know, eventually everyone does this. What journey are you referring to? The journey of enlightenment. Yes, I has a device. Now you have to open and close dialogue with this chap as well. Yep. I'm ready to seek the path of truth and compassion. So now he actually wants a mark of a ban. 
which is an insignia. And now he sends you back to the garden. Insignia is not consumed. But if I use the insignia to go and talk to the NPC in the garden, it will be. So we're going to wait out the beacon and whiz back. If you don't have the beacon, farm a few more insignias for doing this. Three in total, I think you need. Okay, beacon time. And here's our NPC. I was hoping to find information regarding this artifact. He reaches out for it. Give him the doohickey. Someone just went whizzing past me as a wolf. Doggo time! Lots and lots of words. I could try and activate it with your permission. Goodbye, like so, and you combine the insignia with that, which consumes it, which is why I didn't use it to get back in the garden. Right, now we've done that, uh, we want to go and activate a bunch of silver tails and then kill them all. You don't have to kill them, it's more than anything a courtesy to other players, so they don't have to kill them in order to do the quest first. Sounds a little bit mad, I know. Right, we're going to go Frontier Outskirts. Because I want to pick up a doja before we carry on. <laughs> and now the nano actually is useful to me. Coat of barbs. Need a bit more uh, matter creation. 130. One doja, and the same blade thing again. We'll give that a click. There we go. <laughs> Which will obviously send me to the doja lab. And Sparrow for a bit of speed. Now we're looking for silver tails with a little bit of blue to their name. There's a bunch more quests you can do in... Uh, Lisi, uh, nascents, which are quite cool. We won't be doing them today. We're trying to, well, I wouldn't say power level, but kind of power level a little bit. I mean, strictly speaking, I would think of power leveling as straight to nascents, outside tank, kite team. That's power leveling. But you're not really playing your character. I'm playing the character and leveling efficiently. Right, here we go. You talk to the dreaming silver tail, and you need to do this, I think, three times. Now it will change into one of these. Blessed. But if you don't kill it, the next person coming along has to. Kind of unfortunate, but there it is. <laughs> so, being the great. Um, benevolent saviour and then killing the mob anyway just so it's there for the next person because you can't do the quest with one of these and these persist until they're killed and then they respawn as the first mob that's why I'm killing them so the next person along doesn't have to Right, this should be the last one. Uh, now it sends me back to the garden. They'll all respawn as the blue name one, so the next person along doing the quest will have them straight away. I managed to activate the artifact. It did not go unnoticed. Well, we give you that. XP. Goodbye. Right, let's go hand this in. Now we have the key. 
You can't equip it until level 25, but you can certainly use it to get in and out of the garden. Of course, now we're over level 25, we can get the plus 40 NCU buff. Yay! Scarlet Dalquist, we meet again. God, I must have opened dialogue with this NPC a couple of thousand times, I think. Doja. Another level. Goodbye. Now, let's reset our dailies. Now, some people swear that what you should do is hold on to your uh, freelancer tokens. Which are these Freelancers Inc. tokens, not ICC commendations. Apparently, got stuck on an invisible step. Twice. What the hell? Oh, anarchy. So to do the reset, run over here and speak to this lady. Are you able to clear me? I would like to take another contract. Goodbye. And now all my dailies have gone. The only thing I can't get is the freelancers dailies themselves. So now I should be able to pull three more dailies. Applying for a job. Oh, wrong. Straightforward. Goodbye. What's it giving me this time? The grid. That one's not ridiculously painful, but we'll see. The elite daily now, though, should... It should be... The sub, uh, yeah, Temple of the Three Winds. There we go. Goodbye. And we'll pick up another alien daily, even though I think I've got to be about six levels higher before I can hand it in. Aliens alone. Place the bomb. Okay. Right, let's get. Some buffs. Right, so we've done a little bit of upgrading, swapped out a few implants, uh, given myself retool NCU, so now have quite a bit more there, etc. Still can't jump for crap though. <laughs> I haven't done all the implants, I only did a few. Um, but I now have grid space freedom, which does feel a lot better. Not gonna lie. <laughs> now the obvious things we want from here is probably the five slot belt, if we can get one. And levels. There's Cultist Culling is another mission, but we can't pull that on the same day from the freelancers, but I can pull that one tomorrow. Temple of the Three Winds, Acolytes. Oh, somebody's in here. Acolyte. Little low on damage, I feel. I'll have to get some better pistols at ASAP. Not used to having <laughs> such low jump ability. We'll go with the power of the leet. Okay, now we need... Another one. Have I just overwritten grid space? I think I have. Damn! No, I did not want to do that. I know there's a... I feel like miles down here. A little higher level as well. I mean, yes, we get the other perk, but...
Was the face full up? He was. I think I would rather have had grid space, so I had the speed and evades. There's usually another faithful down in the middle wandering around. Let's go say hi. I think that's him there. It is. So much XP. It's nuts. Oh my god, are we on? We're on reverence already. Well, she just downed one here. Should have hit reload. Now these weapons are beginning to feel a little underpowered. Quick IP spend. It's episode two and we're outgrowing the weapons we started off with. Alright, is there going to be a corpse? No corpse, and I don't think we can handle Guardian just yet. Is there a corpse behind me? No. Oh, everything's up. I thought the dungeon would be busier than it is. <laughs> this is why I wanted the run speed, you see. Okay, we're going to have to deal with a couple of mobs here. My little baby bio shielding. Three mobs at once at this level with the gear we've got. Bit of a risk. I've got like a short heart. Don't know how much difference that's gonna make. I would have been better off with grid space, I feel. Okay. I've just remembered what I don't have with me. Something to pull with. Okay, let's go and get that grid space freedom back. Right, so we've reacquired grid space freedom, now nearly have 1k run speed, which is nice, plus the evades. And we are on. Reverence, which are definitely quite a bit tougher. We were pretty close there, and our current healage ain't great. I think I have zero nano resist at the moment. Faithful. Hopefully a reverend down here. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to get... I forgot to get the damned aggression enhancer. <laughs> the thing I tell everyone to get straight away, I didn't get myself. I'm an idiot. Okay, kill the ads, I think, is the sensible option. Hey, there's, there's, this one's healing that one. I'm not having that. Stop that right now. Yeah, that's a shame. I didn't really, maybe because this adds run speed as well. It overwrites grid space. I don't know. I thought they stacked, but guess not. That should be the last reverend, I think. Bitten off a bit more than I can chew here, but we'll see. Actually, you know what? It's the nukers that are the worst. And these things stack up on you. Okay, I'm going to die here. Run around! So that must have cast that before it looked like it had left the room. And it seems like it's re-healing. Ain't good. I definitely need the aggression enhancer. <laughs> Team heal and single heal don't share. Cooldown. It's kind of nice. Yeah, it's always these guys with the nukes. Is he reset or is he... I think he's reset. Yeah, they hurt more than most other stuff. Because you can't evade the nuke. And you think you've dodged them by getting around the corner, and nope, you ain't. Okay, wind callers. I'm going to go for the easier ones, I think. It's going to be sensible. And I'm going to get an aggression enhancer. Okay, we are back in. 
and gunning to go. I have upgraded the heal as well, so I've now got less restore to health. And team rough stitching. About all I can manage at the moment till I do a bit more upgrading on implants and such. I am on wind callers, so I think the safe bet really at this level. I mean, we're not a twink by any stretch of the imagination. I'm going to check on Got. See if we can grab a belt while we're down there. And then come back to the middle room and have a pop at the wind callers in there. Ah, damn. Nobody's killed him. <laughs> yeah, this tune is not strong enough to go in there and uh, deal with those. He probably... Well, I, with RRFE, maybe he could solo got and if I twinked him up hard enough yeah definitely but I think Scott managed to do it on a level six enforcer or something completely bonkers but really good he almost soloed Azzy as well so you can if you're willing to twink hard enough right, deal with these dudes here where are you Mr. Nuke I hate this guy this guy that nukes I hate him like, the worst NPC ever for his level range. Is that him? I just want to fuck. Which one are you? Alright, that's you there. With your bloody nuke. Which feels like it goes through walls because he starts casting it when you're in the room and you can be halfway across the bloody map and it lands on you. It's so annoying. It just doesn't follow the rules. Actually, I should be checking for um, <laughs> better than quality one stim packs and uh, med kits. That would be a plan, wouldn't it? Oh yes, so it would. I mean, melee, we're doing okay. You can see there, I've got nothing in nano resist, and I wouldn't get much for the IP I've got left over. So yeah, but we only need nano resist if you're gonna PvP. No, you don't. <laughs> No, plenty of mobs want to nuke you as well. You learn that in the subway. You learn that in Rubicar regular missions. You get stuff in missions that nukes. Roots, snares, dots, all sorts of nano-based attacks. Uh, and if you're at full lag with no nano resist, you're going to catch all of them. Just how it is. Come on, wind caller, over here. Got the acolyte as well. Yeah, we need bigger, bigger damage. Have to deal with the acolyte. I think I can upgrade the token board. I'll have a go as soon as uh, I finish. Was it thirty or was it? I can't remember. Let's have a look. Ah, level fifty. There you go. Yeah, probably Bob Hope of getting into the main room when it's this quiet in here and everybody's out doing the world bosses. Even the ones in here can sting a little bit at this level. Right, let's deal with the trash. Exarch number two. Did get a combat nano, but isn't that a calm? Wipe hate list and pacify, yeah. Like a, but Adv calms are not the best. I'm gonna be honest. Kill some trash. Before we leave here, I am gonna go check on Goat Got one more time just to see if someone's managed to down him. Yeah, Exarch Road, but it's not as useful as the one I've already got. The back armor I've got is better. -er. I will take note and ring of the three though. Okay, last reverend. Shame I can't use that unless morphed. But yeah. Add V life. Starting to feel the IP pinch. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna need a second bar to start putting perk attacks onto. Come on. Nearly done. Right, full death. Let's go and see if got has got. <laughs> see if got has got. Uh, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. Yeah, see if Gott has dropped. If he has, there's every chance we can go off. 
and get ourselves a belt. There you go. <laughs> Cultist nano damage from like what feels like across the entire playfield. What's actually happening is the game decides whether or not you're going to get hit by that nuke when you're right near the NPC and the NPC has just begun to cast it. The fact it takes them, you know, 10 seconds or whatever to cast the nano. Oh, come on, no one's killed God. Unbelievable. Well, time to go slow and get ourselves an other doja. It will feel slow because we're going to lose grid space when we get to Shadowlands. Oh my god, it's like pulling the teeth. Old Frontier. Outskirts, I want. Yes, the reset also clears your doja. Ah, finally. And let's beacon back to the garden. And speed, speed, speed. <laughs> Just feels ridiculous. I am spoiled by playing high level tunes. I expect more run speed. Much more run speed than we have. And the second time today, Scarlet. It's becoming a habit. Another dojo. And we still have Grid Runner to finish off. Oh, lordy, lordy. It is quite a simple mission. Avert your eyes. Oh, my God. Right, step one. Enter the grid. And click on device that you get for the mission. And go to West Athen very, very slowly. I hope I've got enough <laughs> gauntlet to get there. West Athen, 120. I'm not sure I do. Oh no, I'm okay. I've got like 200. It feels like I've been heavily snared in Sector 42. <laughs> Does it click from inventory? Try it that way first. It is. The grid. Click again. Now it wants the ICC terminal. It's a slightly annoying mission, but hey. Target and click. Click inside the grid again. Target this terminal and click again. It's easier when you're faster, but you only get this one when you're a lobby. And I've finished a line of research. Yay! Next. <laughs> so there we go. I think that's everything. I've got place the bomb, but there's no point doing that. Um until it is time right and i think i'm gonna leave this episode here so thanks all i will see you in the next one and bye for now